Welcome to the Bite Size Storytelling Show, brought to you by Comiful.com, where we bring you techniques, advice, and stories that will help you on your writing journey. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to our special guest. Hello there, Comiful. This is Pat O'Connor here, author of a collection of stories called People in My Brain. I'm going to talk a little bit about why we write and the background to writing because uh, one thing is for sure if you're not sure why you're why you're doing it and the going gets tough you won't push on through and you might have wasted maybe decades of your life while you could have been down at the beach or jamming with the guys so bear in mind that these are personal feelings that uh, I have are based on my own experience and that there isn't a panacea or can't be a panacea for writers just by nature because they have to be all different so there are no rules with anything to do with writing or as Somerset mom once said there are three rules but nobody knows what they are but even if there were rules they would be different from every different writer and uh, so you can the best thing you can do is hear as many experiences as possible and then distill the bits relevant to yourself and make your own wisdom. So first I'm going to say that if you try writing, try writing the truth as near as you can get it. The thing about truth is that it's usually instantly recognisable. Everybody will recognise it, mostly because it makes everybody uncomfortable. Truth is often not popular because a lot of people need to twist it a little to get along the way they've been going. But if you try writing like that, it'll teach you to write honestly or teach you what it feels like, which will help produce writing as unique as you are. This doesn't have to be your main genre. It's just a, an exercise. You may need not even show this truth stuff to anybody or maybe after you're dead and gone some academic might discover it and it'll be your legacy but uh, it's just something to to get you going on the fine point about writing it's important uh, I think to realize that everybody can write it's what happens next that's important Writing is really just solidified thinking that's preserved on some medium that's accessible to everybody. It's one of the features that truly distinguishes us from animals. And the reason we do it is so that we can remember stuff, so that we, we basically won't forget important things. We write them down. Or we do it to communicate with other humans. Or we do it to entertain people or ourselves. Of writing itself, I would say that there are three aspects to it. One of these aspects is the art of writing, which is the dream or the idea or the subject that you are interested to explore. And this is very particular to you. It, nobody can tell you what you should write about. But the next aspect maybe is the craft of writing, which is how you get it done in an acceptable way or an amenable way to everybody. And that can be learned. It can be taught to you. And then there is perseverance, which helps good writing to happen and to develop. And that's something that is innate to you that you have to figure out for yourself. Perseverance is one of the key criteria of a writer because writing is tough. You have to deal with rejection, mainly, misunderstanding, criticism, frustration, penury, isolation, you name it. If you're going to try and do something truly unique and different and hence worthwhile, it's likely that you're going to be on your own, at least in your mind. And the going is likely to get tough. The hardest thing of all can be just to keep going. 
So it's good to know that and be prepared for it. Part of perseverance is to write every day or as near as you can to it. And I don't mean about your main stuff, just to write something every day, maybe a diary, line of a poem or an idea. You don't need to be ridiculous about it either. You've got to leave a full life. So there have to be gaps. There have to be holidays, outages. And what you write every day might be small, but it'll build up a pressure and it'll build up an ability and an idea of what it is you're going to try and do. If you're thinking of making writing part of your life, you better be prepared to earn money some other way. I don't think they stress that enough in writing programs, for instance. Writing is art and society only gives money for things that society really wants or thinks they want, such as food and junk. Art is considered extra. So unless you get a government grant or write for some facet of an entertainment industry, you're going to have to earn money some other way. And there's nothing wrong with that. These are life experiences from which you can draw on for writing. So having said all that, what do you get out of writing? Mostly you get the pleasure simply of a thing well done, a thing well made, or a thing of uniqueness that is of you. It is a pleasure that you can share with others or that they can share with you or that you can just simply, you know, recognize for yourself. Another good thing about writing, it's exactly like a child. Not that you may be proud of it or dote on it, but it is both a part and a cause of human evolution. It all adds up and you can be part of that. So you might ask, how did I get on with all this honesty and perseverance and being true to myself? Well, <laughs> it meant it took up to now to get a collection of stories printed which with a small publisher that was prepared to take a risk and what was maybe not your average book of short stories but at least it's me and it's not what somebody else would like me to be here it is that's my promo bit and now I'm going to wish you all aspiring writers the best of luck. I urge you to write for the pleasure of a thing well made and because that is the one thing you can depend on if you stick at it. One bit of advice from Isaac Dennison is to try and write a little every day without hope, without despair. I think that's good advice. Good luck. If you found this interesting, be sure to like, subscribe, and give a special thanks to our volunteer instructor. Reviews and likes really go a long way and help us provide more awesome writing resources to the Comiful community. If you aren't on Comiful yet, you can join a community of poets, short story authors, and fan fiction writers on Comiful.com.